So this is a video about some paper models and toys I've made. I've been making paper models and toys since I was a kid. When I first discovered Star Trek in the 1970s, I used to make my own little paper model enterprises out of uh, cardboard and, and uh, split peas and God knows what else I could get my hand on. As the years went by, my techniques improved. Uh, so this is in 1976. I would have been about 13 years old and I was making this cockpit from Space 1999. Basically just cardboard, colored construction paper, and some paint. By the next year, Star Wars came out and I was immediately taken by the ships there. And so, of course, I wanted to make my own Millennium Falcon. And again, it's cardboard, paint, um, believe it or not, some split peas to make little dome shapes. Uh, and then as the years went by, my techniques improved. Um, this is obviously a lot more clean and, you know, looking, but it really has never been finished. It was never detailed properly. Now we're going to skip ahead many years, and this is the Providence and Worcester Railroad. Uh, it happened to be the location for a film that was shooting called Hachi, A Dog Story. Uh, that was shooting in my hometown and I really wanted to sort of capture this really lovely train station that uh, was the main location. Uh, sometime after that I was hired to do a promotional model, a fundraising model for this uh, lighthouse off the coast of California uh, that needed repair and um, sometime after that I was hired to do a series of rally uh, car paper models that could be given out at events to kids. The intent was to make everything on one sheet of paper that they could cut out, uh, fold and glue, and make a nice little car. During the pandemic this year, I made uh, this model of the Terra Hawks uh, ship. Terra Hawks was a puppet show from the 1980s, a kid's show from the 1980s made in England. And um, this was the main ship, and I always kind of liked it. It's kind of ungainly, but I just kind of really thought it was kind of a neat design. Now going back some years, I've also made a number of pop-up designs. Uh, this happens to be a, a toy theater that's taken almost exactly out of a book that I have of toy theater projects. Uh, and I thought it was such a neat mechanism to make that pop-up uh, work that I wanted to sort of do it for myself. So I made two cards. I had done one that was a nativity scene and one that was a winter scene. A year after that, I made um, this pop-up Christmas card based on uh, a Christmas carol. So you open it up, and of course, uh, there's uh, Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim. Fold it down, and uh, it creates, again, almost like a toy theater, uh, this nice feeling of depth with a foreground, midground, and background. And then finally, I, I want to show off this uh, shadow box that I made. When I was a kid, my father used to make shadow boxes all the time out of um, old uh, shoe boxes and things, and he would make these little dioramas on the inside that you could see with a piece of tissue paper on the top that would diffuse the light. So uh, as a Christmas present one year, uh, because the whole family really loved My Neighbor Totoro, uh, which is an animated film from Japan by Hayao Miyazaki, I decided to make this uh, shadow box for her as a Christmas present.